All right, solve the following linear equations. Um, we'll keep composition in mind as we work with these. Um, for A, the f what we want to do is isolate the variable factor um, by decomposing the expression. Um, so the first expression, um, we notice 4x plus 8. Um, the first thing we want to do is get rid of the, or isolate the variable term. So we'll attach a negative 8 term to both sides. That's going to give us 4x equals positive 4. Um, and then to get the x factor by itself, we're going to cancel factor of 4 by attaching a fractional factor of 4. Um, so again, we get x equals 1. For b, um, the first thing we want to do is just simplify the expression. So the left side, um, we want to simplify this expression. We'll have a negative 3a and then plus 5. Um, that would equal negative 7. So then we'll start solving. Um, we'll start isolating. First of all, we'll isolate the variable term. So again, we'll attach an opposite term to both sides. Um, that would give me a negative 3a, and then that would equal a negative 12. So negative 7 and negative 5. Now we'll cancel the negative 3, the factor of negative 3, um, attaching a negative 3 in the denominator, um, and we get a equals. So negative 3 goes into negative 12 four times, so a equals 4. All right, going on to the next problems. Um, we notice now in this problem in C, um, we have variable terms on both sides. So isolating the variable term, um, maybe we can add 5y to both sides. Um, what that would mean is that my variable term would be isolated on the right side as a 7y. So to do that, then I would also need to get rid of this negative 6 term on the right side. So I'll attach a positive 6 to both sides, um, and that would give me a 21. So isolating the variable term on one side would, would take a couple of moves. But then finally, um, to get the variable factor by itself, we want to cancel that factor of 7. Um, 7 over 7 is 1. Um, 7 over 21 would leave a factor of 3, or 3 would equal y. So the last problem, um, again, we look at the expressions and we notice that we can simplify each expression. Um, so when I'm looking at these expressions on the left, I have two terms. Um, so I'll be distributing the negative 2 to create terms of negative 2x and positive 8. So I have a 4 and a negative 2x and a positive 8. So my expression on the left side would be a negative 2x and then plus 12. On the right side, same thing, I have two terms. Um, the negative one is going to be distributed to the two terms in that grouped factor. Um, when I do that, I have negative one times six, which is negative six. And then negative one times negative x is a positive x. So I already have the factor of three x. Um, so the right side is going to be um, a four x and then a negative six. So my expressions are simplified. Now I can think about isolating the variable term on one side. Um, so again, this time I'll add 2x um, to both sides. So that means my variable term is going to be isolated on the right side. So the same thing, I want to add 6 to both sides so that the variable term is by itself. 12 and 6 is 18. And then finally, we'll cancel off that factor of 6. And when I cancel, 18 divided by 6 is 3. So 3 equals x.